Well, hello there, fellow Greens uh, of Indiana. My name is Phil Sanders. Uh, I'm with Circle City Greens. I am the ballot access liaison for the state of Indiana for the Green Party. And we have a lot of work ahead of us to get a candidate on the state uh, ballot and to keep the Green Party on the ballot as well. Um, we need specifically 26,699 signatures on our petition to get on the ballot and obviously we will need a good deal more. Our goal is 30,000 um, to eliminate any <coughs> elimination of those signatures, which there will be some uh, as always, um, and we will deal with that as we go. Um, our goal time is June 30th of 2018, that we have to have these signatures turned in by 12 o'clock noon, and that's a very uh, serious uh, point uh, that we have to keep in mind. We have the holidays now, uh, which are a time when there are a lot of people's out, people out, and we can get signatures uh, just because of the volume of people who are available. Um, the, we have all our, our forms which will be accessible uh, on the Green Party uh, website. Uh, locally, as well as the Secretary of State's website. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of run over the general uh, procedures that we need to accomplish to get on the ballot. We have a candidate uh, for Secretary of State, and they will have to secure 15 percent of the vote uh, in the November 2018 election to keep us on uh, the ballot in the state of Indiana. And that is our goal. We want to stay on the ballot uh, with the, the major parties uh, as well as the Libertarian parties who have already established uh, themselves on the ballot. Uh, the form that we are going to be most concerned with on petition signatures uh, is the CAN 19 form, and uh, it's going to be very important when you get these forms that you look over them and you know what they state and what they're asking. And the legibility of these forms is, uh, is crucial because the Secretary of State's office uh, will throw out anything that they deem uh, illegible and uh, not concise and to their uh, established uh, criteria. Um, we, the signatures we will need to get on this form uh, are of registered voters in Indiana. Uh, if people who you uh, ask to sign the petition are not registered voters, then of course it would be wise to have voter registration forms available and get them registered. Uh, there are two forms for voter registration, one federal, which is uh, usable in Indiana, and then the standard VRG7 form uh, that uh, is from the Secretary of State's Office uh, Election Division. Um, Of course, to get signatures, you need to be prepared. Uh, when you go out, you need to have our volunteers lined up, um, have a schedule, know when people are going to meet up, uh, have pens, clipboards, forms, and uh, a good accessible place where you know there's going to be foot traffic. Um, it's been suggested to me places like coffee shops, uh, places that maybe you frequent and, and have coffee where you can 
uh, elicit the goodwill of the proprietor and uh, let them let you uh, get your signatures there in a, in a comfortable situation. Um, but we are, it, it won't necessarily be easy to get this many signatures. There will be people who feel that uh, they, we would be hurting uh, their party, for instance, the Democrats, if a left-leaning uh, group, such as the Greens, uh, are on the ballot. So it's going to be up to us to convince them that they are helping democracy progress in this country again. And uh, by getting those signatures, or by, by signing the form and allowing another um, party to get on and, and give them uh, an opportunity to challenge their own party, uh, if, uh, if nothing else, um, because we will be competition for them. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, we'll have to be if we're uh, going to change our, uh, our government in this country. Um, have your voter registration forms, and I will uh, show you what they are both uh, look like. The Indiana voter registration form, as I said, the VRG7. And uh, there are other ones out there that probably are from past uh, ballot access uh, attempts. So don't turn in a wrong form. Uh, it's necessary to be very specific with the Secretary of State's office. Uh, they can question anything they want to, and it's a lot of work to make up uh, for what's thrown out. There's also a federal form, um, which is certainly accessible through uh, federal government websites, uh, as well as any local uh, federal government offices that might be uh, available, uh, but not the federal courts. They will not, uh, they do not have the form, uh, and they will send you to their regular offices, as I found out the hard way. Um, read the forms thoroughly, understand what they're asking, uh, as I said previously, and, uh, and fill them out legibly. Make sure that uh, the people that sign them, sign them leg legibly. Um, you will need to have a different form for each county. Um, of course, whatever county you're working in will have the, the bulk of the signatures uh, from that county. But if someone um, signs a petition from another county, you will need to have a, a separate sheet for that county, and you will be building up those sheets uh, as you go. But you'll get more use out of them uh, in the future, depending on where you are soliciting uh, petition signatures. Um, as I said before, the Secretary of State's office uh, can deem uh, a form uh, unusable, um, for many reasons, and, and they will if they uh, are allowed to, uh, and it's their call. So do everything properly, and uh, we'll get those uh, ballot uh, access petition signatures that we need. Um, register voters if they're not registered. Uh, that's, it's important to us. It's important to the state and uh, voting rights uh, in general. We need to get uh, votes, voting back to where it belongs in Indiana, not the 28 percent, uh, for instance, from the 2014 election, uh, the lowest in the country. It's, it's not acceptable. We're, <clears throat> we're better than that uh, if we want this country to operate efficiently. Um, I think that covers um, most of the general things that you need to uh, be aware of. Just be prepared when you go out, uh, 
have the forms, have the pens, have the clipboards, have the volunteers. Um, get out as often as possible. And uh, keep in touch with uh, the website for the Indiana Green Party. There will be information. And uh, I will personally send uh, an email with uh, some clearer and more defined uh, direction to you all uh, with the information we have uh, <clears throat> from Amanda Shepard and uh, Circle City Greens. I believe we have uh, of all the various green organizations in the state. And uh, if you know of other green organizations, um, contact them and let us know who they are and where they are and how we can talk to them. So remember, June 10th, we've got so much time. Anybody that has, has done this before, and I'm sure a lot of you have, um, we have to really get on it when the, when the time is uh, right. So thanks for your uh, attentiveness, and uh, we'll be talking in the future.